Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are going to create the REST API in Oracle Apps. API simplifies communication between two different applications and makes it more flexible. So let's learn how to create and use the REST API in Oracle Apps. In your Apex application, navigate to SQL Workshop at top navigation bar and select RESTful Services. Creating a RESTful Web Service module in Oracle Apex involves defining parameters, media type, and authentication methods. I will demonstrate how to create a get method for our RESTful web service. In order to create the modules, click on the module options on the left side panel and once the module tab opened, enter the module name and the base path between the backslash and click create module. Once the module is created, now it is time to create the template. In order to create a template, click create template button at the bottom left side of the panel. So far, we successfully defined our RESTful service module and the module base path. Now we are going to define our URI template in our resource template panel. So in this case, I'm going to define my URI template as details and click apply changes. At the final step of the REST API, we need to create the handler. To do so, click create handler button at the left bottom side of the panel and select the method. So we have other options get, post, put, tell it. But in this case, we are going to select the method get. And then select the source type as a collection query and navigate to the source and enter the SQL statement. In the source type, there are other methods, collection query, collection query items, PL SQL, and media resource. In the desupported format, we have query and query one row and feed. So we have a collection query. Collection query retrieves the data in a JSON object. So we use the Postman to test the API. So we selected the get method here and we pasted our final URL of the API and we send the request. We send the request. At final, we retrieve the data in a JSON object called item, which holds the array of data from the table. And in other cases, we can change the method collection query item and we apply changes. Let's go back to the our postman. We send the request and we retrieve the data in a JSON array, which retrieves a single data, single record from the table. And we move on to the desupported format query and hit the apply changes let us explore how the data getting retrieved and if still it is in a json object let's go back to that attacks and change the source type to a query one row and hit the apply changes go back to the postman we send the request again and we retrieve a single record from the table that's all in this shot, I will show you how to secure our previously created RESTful web service. It is a crucial step to prevent unauthorized access to your web service. In order to secure your web service module, we need to set the privileges and roles to the API URL. To do so, navigate to the Privileges tab on the left side panel and click the Privileges. Here, I'm going to click Basic underscore Auth privileges since I have already created a privileges so I'm going to uh, use the same as or else one can create the privileges by navigating to the create privileges tab in the privileges window in basic underscore auth I'm going to set the role roles as a restful services and the protected module as the former that previously created once the roles and modules been set 
for the respective privilege definition and we hit the apply changes. And now our module is protected by the privileges which cannot be accessed without the authentication and authorization. We will be using Apex authentication and authorization as our method of authentication to secure our RESTful web service. In order to set the user authentication for the RESTful services, click on the administration button at the top right side of the navigation bar and select manage users and groups. In the users and groups, uh, select the user uh, which you want to authenticate for the RESTful API and scroll down to the group assignments and select the RESTful services for the respective user and click apply changes. So with this modification, the user with a particular group assignments can able to access the RESTful services. And getting back to the postman, click on the authorization and select basic auth as a type and enter the valid username and password and send a request. With the success of our authentication, we successfully retrieve the data. Getting back to the modules in the RESTful data services window, we can ensure that uh, the created module former has been protected by the privileges with the green tick icon.